guys, so today we're going to play with all of these goodies I unboxed in my recent unboxing video. I'm getting my hair done soon. These terrible roots will be gone. Look at them. I really wanted to do some nice makeup because I hate sitting in front of that hairdresser mirror looking like a bodiless potato, round face, tin foil, tin man hat. Yeah. This is the perfect opportunity to try out all of these goodies. I'm so excited. Too Faced is a brand I do like. I'd say like some of the products are hit and miss for me. Like I'm really a big fan of their Born This Way foundation. And coconut primer. This is the one I mean. The hangover coconut one. Some of like their mascaras and lipsticks and like all sorts of stuff. There's some stuff I don't like so much so I'm excited to see what I think of this collection. I know a lot of people weren't excited for this but I am. I'm not over emphasizing this. Like I was very excited to see this collection because it just looks really really cute to be honest. It's what some of the packaging looks like. Um, lots of pink and white and like pastel tones. So we're gonna try it on camera. I'll give you my honest opinion and let you know what I think of everything. Um, I'm trying to look for my headband. I've lost it. Fantastic. I haven't even like looked through what I've got in here. I'm gonna use as many products as I can though and try out as many as I can. Oh, new style. I like it. <laughs> Joking. It's really ugly. Don't do this. So in terms of foundation, I can already see this one right here. I have no idea if it's gonna match me, but we'll get to that soon. There's a primer here. Another foundation. Okay, that's good. We've got options. They sent heaps of options actually. Okay, this is good. This is good. I like this. Okay, we've got tons to donate. Actually, I think they've sent me every shade. There is a whole lot right here. I literally just pulled out like I wouldn't even be able to hold them all out in my hands. There's like 18 or something maybe. I don't know. I didn't count properly. There's a lot. But here is the primer. This is the Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte Skin Perfecting Primer. And honestly, I don't know if you guys know this about me, but Fig is one of my favorite scents ever. And I love the flavor of it too. Packaging is super cute. It reminds me of the Hangover Primer packaging. Okay, so this one looks more like a pore filling one perhaps. Cooling Matte Skin Perfecting. Smells really good. <laughs> Yeah, so it's like a pore filling primer, but it does feel really cooling. It's really cool. <laughs> cool. It's really... I need to stop using the same word. But it doesn't feel really super matte and thick. Once you blend it in, it kind of almost feels like water or something on your face. Like, it feels hydrating still. How is this matte? Like, I feel like it would be more of a glowy product. I don't know. Maybe it dries down. It feels really good. Like, the actual, like, sensation on your skin, it feels very hydrating. Okay, so as I look at it now, my skin looks very matte. Like, I definitely see why it's called matte. It looks very perfect. It's filled out like the pores down here. It just looks very flat. So I think it works and it actually feels quite sticky which I like. I quite like a good sticky primer sometimes. I feel like it just helps your foundation stick to it. Do you know what I mean? Let's see how easy it is to blend on top of. So we'll try out the foundation next. I've got fake tan on right now. Check out my um, uh, updated like tanning routine tips and tricks video. I'll link it down below. I just uploaded it. They do have like little color swatches on the back which is handy. So I'm just going to guess like three different shades and we'll try each one and see which one um, matches me the best. It looks like there's some really deep shades as well like as you can see here. If I end up liking this foundation I'm definitely going to find like my pale shade as well. So far I'm liking the primer. It feels really good. So first I'm going to try the shade light beige and we'll just like put it on the side here. That's almost like perfect already. And then I'm going to try natural beige which I'm assuming is going to be a little bit darker. It's actually a little bit more yellow. Less like olive almost. That one could work also. Actually, I feel like that one's probably a little bit better with the fake tan. What do you guys reckon? And we'll try one more for fun. Um, I'm going to try Warm Nude. Honestly, I feel like any of these would work. I feel like maybe the middle one. Do you reckon? I don't know. Let's just give it a go. We can always mix it up in a bit if it does not match. I'm actually going to begin just by mixing this product. Might as well use it instead of wasting it. I'll zoom you in a little. It's kind of reflecting off my lighting. Does that have a scent to it too? I think it does. I don't know if it's like the primer or the foundation, but it smells really good. Okay, so straight off the bat, I feel like it's quite a matte foundation. Um, it makes my skin look really smooth, but it's not like super full coverage. You can definitely still see some pinkness underneath. I feel like whatever color this is, is matching perfectly. I'm now using natural beige and it's still looking really good. I did use like a whole pump almost on the side of my face so far. Yeah, I think this does smell good. Like, my sponge smells really nice. <laughs> After we've covered our whole face, I'll look it up on the website and let you know what, like, it's supposed to be like. And I'll let you know if I think it's true. So the Too Faced Peach Perfect Foundation. Yeah, I think it does come in 18 different shades. And here are what the swatches look like. It looks like they've got a good 
range of a light, medium, and dark. Actually quite a lot of dark, which is nice. And then it says it's going to create a smooth matte and peach perfect complexion for up to 14 hours. Um, and it's infused with sweet peach and it's lightweight. So it definitely feels lightweight. I'd say it's like a medium coverage and it's definitely very matte. I'm not a huge fan of the super matte look, so I'll definitely be using a lot of highlighter. I feel like you can still see pinkness and I did build it up, so the coverage isn't amazing. But if you like a lightweight matte foundation or you're looking for that, then there you go. It's not like my favorite, it's not my least favorite. For a matte foundation, I can say it hasn't like gripped onto any dry areas or looked real like cakey anywhere. Like it looks very even, it looks fine. It's just like not my preference, I guess. I don't think there's a concealer. The next product is a loose setting powder, so I'm just going to conceal with, I've got this right next to me. I can't decide if I like this or I don't like this. Like some days I use it and I'm like, it looks okay, and then other days I use it and it looks so cakey. So I don't know, but it's by Too Faced also, so I thought I'd use it. I prefer like the other Born This Way, I mean not foundation, concealer. This is the sculpting one, uh, but anyway, I don't know. I don't know what the difference is, if there is one. Could just be like the products I've been using it with, like I kind of mix up you know, when I'm doing my makeup in real life, I mix up the products I use every day. So maybe like it just works certain ways with certain products. I don't know. I don't know. And I put on way too much. I'm just going to blend it around my face because I don't know what else to do. Honestly, I feel like I look a little bit cakey now. Like nothing ridiculous, but it was quite hard to blend on top of the matte foundation because it's so, so matte. It's like the kind of matte foundation. I don't even know if you're going to need a powder with it because it was like stuck to my face. Anyway, next up I'm going to try the loose powder. It's the um, Mattifying Loose Setting Powder Infused with Peach and Sweet Fig Cream. Once again, I'm not a big fan of matte, but like I said, we will highlight the F out of our skin soon. Love the packaging. It's got a nice lid. It's like nice and sturdy and good quality looking. And it's actually got a little like cap over the powder, so it's not going to be so messy. I love that. And I'm a huge fan of the Born This Way Setting Powder by Too Faced. So I'm excited to give this one a go also. I'm first just going to take some on a smaller brush and just sit under my eyes with it and see how this goes. Oh, <coughs> Smells really strong. Like, not as strong as I would say, like, the Huda Beauty one that just came out, but it smells sweet. Like, not in a bad way, it's just like, I don't know, it gave me a fright. Oh, it tastes. I'm sorry, this is really weird, but it actually tastes really good. <laughs> it tastes like icing sugar. I could eat that. I'm not even joking, that tastes really good. I was just like talking and it flicked into my mouth, and I was like, oh, that's yum. Ooh, it blends in really good. It doesn't look cakey. Now, let's try it on the rest of Ziffless. Oh my gosh, it goes, it's like so finely milled, it's like going everywhere. But not in a bad way, like, it's so fine. Like I said, I feel like I don't even really need to set this foundation very much, but I'm just doing it anyway. Well, I actually quite like that powder. I feel like it didn't make me look too crusty or anything, which is what I find with some matte powders. And now we're gonna try this because I don't like the matte look. Um, this is a peach mist, mattifying, oh god, it's mattifying, no, <laughs> infused with sweet peach. Sweet fig, blah, 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 blah. shake it up. Oh, that smells good. So I've just put it on like so much. You can see it's lifted up all my face hairs, but we'll push those down in a moment. I just like to take my sponge when I put on a lot of liquid and just real gently tap over. See immediately that made my skin look so much better, but it's mattifying. So I don't know if it's going to like, you know, dry down completely and go super matte again or what. I feel like I probably should have gone a shade darker with my foundation, but oh well. So let's give ourselves a little bit of dimension. We have some bronzers here, which I'm so excited about. You guys know I'm a bit of a bronzer junkie. I love it so much. So there's this like one with shimmer on it. And this is called the Sweetie Pie Radiant Matte Bronzer. Radiant Matte. Okay. Then we have this melting powder bronzer, which is like so cute. Look at it. I thought there was a plastic film on it, but I think that's the product. Oh, it's a cream. Dang, I should have used that before I set my foundation. This is what I get for not researching like what's actually in the collection before I like dive in. Ah, I just wanted to get like my proper first impressions rather than know everything, you know. Look, there's like a highlighter version too, a creamy highlighter. Translucent smoothing finishing powder. Smoothing, oh look how pretty it is. And then we also have a velvet matte eyeshadow palette and a multi-dimensional eyeshadow palette. Ooh. Okay, so Prob's not gonna use the cream today, although I'm curious to see how it works on top of powder. Let's just do a tiny bit, because some stuff actually works okay on top of powder. But you know, you're supposed to do creams before powders. You know, but I'm just gonna apply a really small amount with my flawless finish sponge, Bakeswood Beauty. Oh, it's 
actually not too bad. It's not like real opaque. It's kind of like a balm consistency. It's not like a thick sculpting cream concealer kind of texture. It's literally like lip balm almost but tinted. And this is actually quite a nice like contour shade for me. Can you actually see where that's going? It's kind of like a shadow rather than straight up bronzer. So I'm going to use this to contour my face and it's working fine. Just doing the same thing on the other side. I'm just building it up. Um, I don't want to go too ham. Let's try this as well. It does have like a film on top of it, which does wipe away if you can see. Like it just is on the very top layer. So I'm going to take a little bronzer brush with this product, which has my hair on it. I don't know why. I'm just going to tap onto it. And okay, this reminds me a little bit of the, was it Snow Leopard or something like that by Too Faced ages ago? I'm sure it was Too Faced. And I used to use it all the time on my channel and it was like my favorite blush, but it was actually a bronzer, but I liked it for blush. See if this is kind of like the same thing. So I'm I'm gonna sweep it on my cheeks first before I put it everywhere. Yeah, see, for me, I think that's more of a blush. Like a really pretty bronzy blush, because I often use bronzer as my blush anyway. So this is kind of what it reminds me of. It's really pretty, I like this a lot. And it does give you a bit of a glow, I feel like, once you actually wipe off their like top foil. It's kind of like a satiny look. Yeah, I like it. They also have blushes in the collection, like six of them, I think, or five. I think I've got five here. So there's a bunch of different colors, some deeper colors and some lighter colors. I'm going to take this color. I'm surprised. I thought there was lipsticks in this collection. Maybe there is, maybe there isn't. I don't know. I'm going to take this one here. It's called Pinch My Peach and it's another one of the melting colors. Okay. So once again, it's kind of like a balm. It actually does say here it's called a melting powder. So maybe that's like why it works okay on top of the powder because it's not just like a wet product. Like it transforms into a powder. But hey, it's working. I'm not going to question it. I'm just going to apply a little bit of the shade. Once again, it's called Pinch My Peach. Just a a little bit on my cheeks just because I want to try it. I feel like for this product I have to use quite a lot more on my sponge than the bronzer which isn't like a terrible thing. Just letting you know it's not as pigmented. That's actually so pretty and I really like the finish. So now let's just pop on a little bit of the highlight shade I suppose. So this is called Peach Frost. I'm just going to take it on the tip of my sponge and just apply it on my cheekbone. It's very natural, which I like. It just gives you like a soft glow. If you like a blinding highlight, it's probably not going to be enough for you. But I think it's really pretty. It kind of gives you like that wet look almost. Well, not wet, but like just hits the light and looks really smooth. It doesn't look shimmery or anything, which is really cool. It's just so soft and blurring. Now I'm just going to fill in my brows and I'll be right back to work on the eyeshadow with you. We'll try out the new palettes. So I just did my brows with my Benefit faves and then I put on my Smashbox lid primer and interesting it's like going so patchy it's so weird like usually it doesn't do this so I don't know if it's like the powder or what it is but it's like sticking to something and it's just like not doing the best job right now anyways let's give it the eyeshadows a go I haven't even like looked inside them yet we have the just peachy mattes Ooh, pretty colors I like those I'm quite happy I thought there was gonna be like a lot of pastels but I like these there's some darker colors and then let's see what's in the white peach this is kind of more what I was expecting so like pastel colors like still pretty but you know I'd probably go for this palette myself rather than these types of colors they are very pale but I'll try to use like a few colors from both palettes to test them out so yeah one of my eyes is primed this one is not let's dive on in so I'm gonna use a crease blender brush today and let's start with honestly I feel like I wouldn't use any of the colors out of this palette in my crease maybe like the purpley shade and that's about it um, so I'm going to start with this shade here called Fresh Picked. It looks really pretty. It's like a terracotta peachy kind of shade, like brownish peach. It looks pigmented on my brush. And I'm just going to pack that into my crease area. It's blending really easily. It does look a little bit patchy on top of the primer, but I think it's just the way the primer is sitting on my skin, which is a little bit of a shame. We'll see if it goes on patchy on the eye with no primer. Because, yeah, you can kind of see where it's gripping onto that primer and not looking the best. But I'll keep going. I'll keep trying. The color itself, though, is very pigmented and stunning. So let's see what it's like on the unprimed side. Because I really hope it's just the primer and not the eyeshadow. So straight away, obviously, it's going on a little more pigmented on the prime side. But, I mean, it's still fine without the primer. And I find it a little bit easier to blend. So, yeah, I think it's that mixture of the powder and the primer or whatever happened there. I'm not sure what happened. It doesn't usually happen with that primer. It's one of my favorites. So yeah, it looks better on the unprimed side today, which is a good thing because if your primer is behaving, like that's a good sign that it works amazing by itself. I think I want to do some kind of like halo eye today because 
this is very dramatic <laughs> on this side. It's so hard to blend on that. Anyway, um, let's now go in with maybe this shade here. There's not really like an in-between shade like I was looking at this one, but it's almost the same colour, which is kind of dumb. And these two colours here are almost the same colour, which is a bit dumb also. I don't know why they would have done that, but that's fine. It's happened. Ooh, look how pigmented that is. So this is unprimed and it goes on like velvet. This is the shade Peach Tart. This colour is so nice. It's just like a beautiful velvety rich brown colour. Just like a staple. So that's how we're looking on both eyes. I'll keep blending soon. I'm not finished blending, but I just want to go in with an even darker colour, which is going to be chocolate dipped. This corner colour, it's a little bit more cool tone. And just put that right at the outer corner and inner corner. And then I'm going to take a bit of the shade Peach Cobbler, this one right here, which is similar to the very first colour we used, but hey, I'm just going to bring that through the crease a little and just start blending the browns in a little better. I mean, the colours are beautiful, but it kind of bothers me that a couple of the colours are quite similar, you know? I would have liked some more variety, but other than that, so far this palette is just like incredible apart from that. And actually very wearable, even though it's a little bit colourful, with the warm tones and pinks and stuff, like, still so wearable. Like, you can create a very neutral look with a little pop of colour that you could still wear to work or school. Like, it's not too bright, you know? I really, really, really just want to take a little bit of this bright, kind of cool pink that almost matches my nails. This is called Peachy Punch. No, Peach Punch. Can't read. <laughs> just because I really want to just put a little bit into the crease, just to, like, make it a little bit brighter. I don't know. I just really want to try it. Now that we've got like a base of eyeshadows down on top of that primer situation, like they blend pretty okay. And on the unprimed side, they blend really well. They're just a little bit less pigmented, but still pigmented enough. Like I think this is still nice, you know? So there's a few hits and misses to this palette. Um, but overall, I think I like it more than I dislike it. So now let's try out a couple of shades from the other palette, which straight away, like I can honestly say I'll prefer the matte one, like straight away. But this color here looks really pretty. It's kind of like a pink with gold. So I'm going to take it with my finger. Look at this. And I'm just going to press that right in the center. Super shimmery. And then I'm going to take the shade mix with the shade just to blend either side. We're going to have to go back in with the dark colors. These are actually very pigmented. It's covering the dark color really easily. So yeah, I'm just going back in with actually this shade up here. And just tapping over top of that to blend. And then just touching up those darker browns just to make sure everything fades nicely. I do feel like you lose the shimmer very easily. So I'm just going to touch up the very center of my eyelid. And even then, like, the shimmer's not showing up as much as with my finger and with a brush. So I'm also going to take, let's try this shade here, Peaches and Dreams. And this is like a pale gold shimmer. And we're going to put that on the brow bone. It's really pigmented. It's not like super shimmery. It's like a satin shimmer. I don't know. It's quite nice. At first I didn't like it, but no, I think I do like it. But yeah, this palette isn't as good as the other one in my opinion. Well, I guess it depends what you're looking for. If you're looking for something a little bit more unique, like this has some different colors. If you already have lots of warm tones and stuff, you know? And then right on that inner corner, this could be weird, like very risky. I don't know, but I'm going to take that color again and I'm just going to put that right there. It's not very bright. I'm going to mix it with the gold we used on our brow bone. I really like that gold color actually. That's probably my favorite. And then because I want to use another color from this palette, I'm going to take the shade Peach Sorbet, which is a really light peachy color. And I'm going to first run that underneath. Literally like on a normal day, I would never use this many different eyeshadow colors, but I'm just trying to use as many as possible. This is just a really nice light peachy color. It's just going to be a really soft definition. It'd be a good like transitional like blending color. And then on top of that, I'm going to use, there's not really anything darker. I want to use I don't want to use like black so not nah. going back in with the other palette and I'm going to take the shade peach cobbler again and run that underneath as well and then a little bit of that pink color or peach whatever you want to call that just underneath as well and I'm just like focusing on the outer half but making sure to blend it there is a bit of fallout but nothing a little flicky flick can't handle so now I'm going to do my eyeliner and everything. I'll be right back. I'll do it off camera because otherwise this video is going to be way too long. All right, so here is the finished look. I will link the lashes, mascara, eyeliner, lipstick, everything I used down below. Um, Yeah, so basically I think the matte eyeshadow palette is way better than the other one. I like the foundation, but it's probably honestly not going to be something I reach for a lot. Like I do like it, but it's just not my preference in finish. It's not bad whatsoever. 
like it looks really good it's just so matte like I feel like I just need to put a little dusting of highlighter all over my face right now because that's just me the powder I quite liked um, the primer I really like I like the face products too I think if you do like a more natural finish then you'll like this formula it's definitely not dramatic so if you want some dramatic contour dramatic highlight dramatic blush like it's not like that it's definitely very balmy and lightweight which I don't mind I think it's really pretty and I really like that bronzer too the sweetie pie I think this is like one of my favorites it's really cute as well so I hope you guys enjoyed this little review let me know if you've tried this collection down below and let me know what your favorites are and let me know how they all worked for you um I think my least favorite product in this entire collection was probably the white peach palette I just I just don't really understand the colors I feel like they had so much opportunity to do it like a really cool unique palette and it's just like so meh I don't know like I don't really look at the colors and just want to play with them and so many of them are so pale like what are you gonna do with them you know other than like highlight your brow bone or put a pop of a light color in your lid you know what I'm saying <laughs> that's just my personal opinion though as always so yeah take it or leave it I don't know I'll link the collection down below if you do want to have a browse if you haven't tried it yet and yeah until next time I'll talk to you guys soon bye